Hi, welcome back to Therapy Designs. My name is Kelly, and if you're new to this channel, this is the channel that's all about teaching you how to create print-on-demand designs using Canva. So if that's something that you're interested in, please stick around. Okay, so in today's video, we are going to be doing a quick example of how to use the pixelated effect um, in Canva to create a cool kind of old style video game design. So this is the design that we're going to be making here. It says, call me old fashioned, and it has an old school video game controller over a pixelated heart, and we're using some pixelated text. So it's a pretty quick design to make. It's pretty simple, but it gives a kind of cool old fashioned uh, old-fashioned video gamer design. So if you're interested in learning how to do this, go ahead and stick around. Okay, so as always, we're gonna start with our blank background. It is 4,500 by 5,400 pixels, and I am going to be designing on black. So I'm going to go ahead and change the background color now to black. Now this is going to be a pretty quick and simple design that I wanted to show you. This is just how you might use um, the pixel uh, pixelated application. Uh, to do uh, sort of a video game style design. So for this one, I'm just gonna start with um, elements and I'm gonna come up here and I'm gonna find a heart. Okay, so I am gonna want any kind of just real simple heart. I really like this one, looks nice and shiny, so I'm just gonna pick this one. Uh, don't know if I like the border. Hey, there's a whole bunch of them, let's see. Ooh, yeah, lots of pretty ones. How about? Any of these look better? Yes, shiny in the center, shiny that way, shiny the other way. Ooh, lots of pretty ones. It doesn't matter which one you choose. Let's just choose this one because it's fun. So here's my heart. This is what I'm going to start with. And I'm going to come up here to edit image. And now when I scroll down to the bottom here, there's all sorts of different special effects that I can use. But I specifically for this one want to use pixelates because I am going to give this a nice pixelated look. So you can see lots of different ways that you can kind of do it, make it look grainy, shattered, give a matrix look. I'm just going to go straight to pixel. And of course, I can edit how pixelated I want it to be. So I can, you know, make it a little finer with the pixels, or I can make it very thick with the pixels, depending on where I choose to put this. So I do want it to be pretty pixelated. I'm trying to give it that old school video game design. So here I'm just gonna go ahead and apply that. So I'm starting with my pixelated heart. So the next thing I wanna do is get an old fashioned video game controller. So again, I'm gonna come up to elements and this time I am searching for video game controller. Perfect. Um, now there's a lot of different ones I can use. Depending on where you intend to um, download this design, you might need to be careful with some of these that you're not showing off names of existing products that would have um, like trademarks or copyrights to them. So I do want to go with you know, my very old school style controller. I just need to make sure that the name of the controller itself is not present. So this is the one that I particularly like. Uh, it says select, it says start, but there is no name on here of, of what controller this is, though if we look at it, I think we all know. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose this one here and I'm gonna remove the background. So I'm gonna click here, I'm gonna go background removal, okay? So there we go, we've got our background removal. Now I can keep it here. Um, it looks really good, it does have the wire. If I wanna get rid of the wire, no problem. What I can do is come up here to erase. And so if I wanna just erase this wire here, no problem, I can do that. I can make this brush size a little bigger. And just like this, I can make that wire gone so that I just have the controller. It depends how you wanna do it. If you like the wire, then that's fine too. Oops. So now I have just my controller. So I have my old fashioned controller on my cool pixelated heart. I'm gonna make this nice and big over the front here. And now I'm gonna be adding in some text. So I'm gonna hit a text box, I'm just pull up a text box. T, where's my text box? How come I can't see it? Oh, there it is. I just can't see it. There it is, lose that paragraph text. 
All right, and so for this design, I'm going to be using uh, the words, call me old fashioned. So up here, I'm gonna put call me, oops, call me. And then we are gonna put old fashioned at the bottom. Um, I'm just gonna, oops. I'm gonna control D, I'm gonna pull this down here. And at the bottom here, it's gonna say old fashioned. Okay, and now we are gonna pick our, our font. So I'm gonna wanna go with a pixelated style font or a kind of a gamer font. So I can come up to fonts and what I can do is go ahead and search for pixelated or pixel. Oops, pixel, how did I spell that wrong? Mm, yeah, look, lots of ones. Pixel, pixelated. And so you can see there's a lot of different ones to choose from. There's a pretty classic one, it just says, call me, this is Arcade Gamer. Um, this one's kind of cool too. So you can play with them, find the one that you want. So that kind of gives it that old school gamey sort of look. And again, that one's not pixelated at all. <laughs> Um, so let's just go with, I like this one. It's a good pixelated look, kind of looks like it goes with the heart. So I'm gonna make this nice and big. Now, you know, I might actually like it in all caps. So to do that, if I've already got it in lowercase, I can click here and I can change this to all caps by hitting this little a big a so now it's all caps and i do like that better so we'll probably end up doing that here too i'll click that we'll hit the uppercase so it's all uppercase and then i'm going to go ahead and probably pick the same font here which one did i use this one here and I'll shrink that way down make it up big and go ahead and center that one Cool, call me old fashioned. So I really like the way that that is starting to look. Now I can keep these white and that looks cool. Or if I want it to stand out maybe on a white t-shirt, I can go ahead and change the color of the, um, the color of the text. So for example, if I wanted to bring in some of the reds, let's say from the heart, I could do that. If I wanted to bring in some of the grays from the remote control, that looks cool too. So there's a lot of different ways I could go with it. If I wanted to give it more of that old school gaming vibe and put like a green in there, I could do that. So there's a lot of different ways you can go with this. If I went with the gray, it doesn't stand out quite as much. So for example, let's say I went with this gray, it looks okay on black. Let's say I wanted to put it on a white t-shirt. So I'm gonna change the background to white. You can still see it, it stands out okay. Um, sometimes you have to be careful because you go with a lighter color and it doesn't stand out too well on the, on the white. So for example, if I went with that, you know, light green, oops, I'm take that back to white. If I went with that light green color, it might not stand out as well as I'd like on a t-shirt. So when you're selecting your colors, you know, there's a lot to think about. I do kind of like some of these reds here, or call me old fashioned. If I did it in like this darker red, it looks good on white. And then if I was to change the background color here, I think it also looks good on a black shirt. So I like it either way. So. I might do this nice red color because then I've got a little bit more versatility in terms of what color shirt I put it on because it'll work with white, it'll work with black, and it'll even work with a gray shirt. So sometimes those middle colors will get kind of lost in like a light gray shirt, like some of the, the Heather, athletic Heather, but that actually looks good on a gray too. So I think this color combination is gonna work really good on any color shirt that I like. So, so this is my design. It was very quick and easy to make. It, utilized uh, the pixel um, effect that I can use for the heart and a pixelated text. And it's, it's very relevant to sort of the millennial generation. Um, and they do buy a lot of shirts. So it's always good to 
you know, know who your audience is when you're designing. I did go ahead and trademark check this. So Call Me Old Fashioned is not trademarked and it is free for you to use. The only thing that you would be careful about using is do not use the name of this controller or the system that it goes with. So you just wanna be very generic in terms of you know, classic controller, classic video games, stuff like that, but don't don't actually use the names or you'll get in you know trouble pretty quick. So that is it for this video, and this was just a little quick one. I hope uh, I hope you found it useful. That's it for today's video. If you found this useful and would like to see more videos with useful tips and tricks, please hit like and subscribe and turn on your notifications so that you don't miss any of the weekly videos. As always, keep growing and stay creative, and we'll see you next time.